Uh, let's get this uh, finance committee started. We're a little bit late because we had a walkthrough of the Masonic Temple uh, to see exactly what the condition was of the facility. And we're going to have discussions on that uh, coming up in the next few weeks or months here to figure out what we're going to do. Especially since we have hired the, or selected the architect for the courthouse. Uh, the next step is to make determination on proceeding forward with that, which of course the Masonic Temple, Temple is an integral part of that decision. But first we have assignment for a request for council action. We have several for finance, 14, 235 fund transfer, 001 to 140 parking fund, 14, 236 fund advance, 301 to 307 fire pumper purchase, 14, 237 budget amendments, 14, 238 increased PO law department for Zashin and Rich, 14, 239 payment over 25,000 for the fiber network project, 14240 purchase of three 2015 Ford Police Interceptors SUVs, 14241 repealing 137104 and 137105 of Part 13 of the Building Code, 14242 renew public defender contract, 14243 revocable use permit, 563 Bronson Street, 14244 donate 2000 Pierce Fire Truck to Medina County Career Center, 14245 Medina or MCRC 2015 part time pay scale, 14246 MCRC new water safety instructor aid position, 14247 2015 budget, 2015 and 19 five year budget approval. First item we have is um, 14235 fund transfer to the parking fund. Keith? Thank you. Uh, the parking fund does not generate sufficient revenue to cover its operations, never has. We periodically do a transfer. We have to come to council for authorization of that. And this is for the remainder of the year? This is the 2014, yes. All of 2014, so. Okay. Questions? Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Motion carries. 14236 fund advance from 301 to 307 for the fire pumper purchase. We actually talked about this when we um, changed the income tax allocations to give them an extra half percent in the fire capital. And this is an advance on that to get this purchase taken care of. We haven't had to pay any bills yet, so we haven't needed it yet, but we're going to soon. So this is the advance and then the transfer money <coughs> will be paid back as the money is, is it like once a year or how often do you do that? We'll do it once a year. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Motion carries. Uh, 14237 budget amendments. The first one we have here is uh, 2014 085. This is the transfer we talked about a couple items up. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 2014 082. Is they made a number of purchases and upgrades this year. We didn't have enough appropriated this year, but there's plenty of money in the uh, computer tech the capital fund. We just didn't have it all enough appropriated for this year. Okay. Second. All in favor? Uh, 2014 083 purchase of 46 Cemetery Week. This money comes from donations. It's for uh, putting uh, decorations on these graves. We just need to appropriate it in order to be able to do that. <coughs> Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh -huh. 2014-081 fire pumper purchase. This is, uh, there's a number of appropriations here because the advance we talked about before, we have to appropriate for the advance that moves the money to the other fund that appropriate for the purchase. But this is all with regards to the fire pumper that we talked about a while ago. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 2014-077 grander pump installation at the Muni Court. We uh, took this out of unanticipated capital necessities. Um, and I think at the time we had appropriated uh, for it, but it wasn't quite enough to finish it up. This is finish that up and for that. And it's Honestly, all it's already done. It's been in for. Any complaints on it? So everything's good over there. Yeah. Okay. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Motion carries. Two thousand and fourteen oh seventy eight airport. We um. We don't have sufficient appropriations in, in the airport fund, and the reason this isn't wasn't planned for in the budget is we have a lot of new operations with the jet fuel sales and so on. We really didn't know what to project for those, so we need a little bit more to get through the end of this year. 
And how are we doing in the jet fuel sales? Do you know where you updates that out? I, I can give you something now. Let me get back to you on it. It seems like we must be doing well since we're buying more. It has to be selling, I guess. Right. I'll move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. 2014-079 street repair. We, uh, this is in the 108 fund. We're uh, repaying some advances uh, at the, the bottom one and then the projects that we're doing 108. Okay. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, number 7916, sanitation, engineering, and streets. These are a number of negatives we've got to have appropriations to cover. <coughs> um, you can see on the first two are sanitation and group in water. The last two are transferring around in different street funds. We have various street funds. We're moving from one that has money to one that doesn't. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 7915, accept donation of fountain from the Van Epp family. This is a donation, but we, we need the appropriation to be able to spend that acceptance of spend it. This is the family from the fund. The family that they got to keep in. And I understand now that there was a misunderstanding that they didn't <coughs> want to remain anonymous? Correct. Um, right, we had kept them anonymous uh, at their request for a period of time, and now it's our under understanding that uh, uh, that's no longer necessary. So they come to the December 8th uh, council meeting, and we're going to recognize them there. Good. So you all have a chance to meet. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, the next item here we have uh, 14238 to increase PO 2014 295 for Zashin, Zashin and Rich. Mr. Hewlett. <coughs> this request increase the amount of money payable or potentially payable to John Lino in the CM negotiations. Right now, with the teachers or overseeing those negotiations, this will get us to the end of the year. Hope we're good for another three years. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Uh, 14239 expenditure over $25,000 for the fiber network project. Okay. We, we agreed to this back in 2010, and um, it, it hasn't been quite as financially successful as we were led to believe at the time <coughs> for our, um, our uh, agreement to cover part of this shortfall has kicked in. And it ends this year, I think. Oh, wow, it was three years. Um, and this, I think this is the first year that it's or alive. Second. First or second. I, I thought 2015 was uh, either last year or ended. I mean. I thought I read 2015 in the contract. Right. Okay. Um, Part, part of this, all, it, it, it's not as much that it, uh, they aren't doing the sales they thought, but the sales were delayed because of the poll rights. It took them much longer than what they had anticipated uh, because summer with, with uh, phone, summer with uh, power, and summer with cable. And by the time they sorted through all those, that, that pushed the project back four to six months. So the startup was delayed substantially. Is this our second or first payment? First. I don't remember anything. And this is, Mr. President, this is just a loan. We will be repaid eventually. No, this no. is no, this is uh, to assist with the bond payment uh, okay. because the sales aren't sufficient enough to do that, and and it's broken down by percentage, depending on the amount of fiber run through each of the cities, and then the county is paying for the, the areas outside of the cities. Well, I shouldn't say that. Uh, two two others, Westfield uh, Township. Is paying for theirs, and my memory is right. Maybe Seville. Seville. Yeah. I think it's Westfield Village, though. Westfield Village and Seville. Mm -hmm. Okay. Moved to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All opposed? Uh, 14240 purchase of three 2015 Ford Police Interceptors SUVs. Chief? <coughs> It's a request to accelerate next year's purchase to fall under 2014 money. Uh, Ford issued a deadline of January 9th for the orders to come in. Normally it was April or May. Um, 
So that's just an attempt to move it forward. Questions? Mr. President? Uh, Chief, this is just three cars for 2015. Next order we see will be for 2016. Well, there's one already ordered <coughs> that was a replacement for the one that flooded out. Right. This would be your normal three for 2015. Okay. Thank you. So what we may do is in the fall of next, we're using 2014 money to buy 2015s. So in the fall of 2015, if the money is sufficient, we may ask again for that money to be set aside to buy cars in 16, because there's no way we can make that January cutoff date. You know the the, the way they um, the way they've done that. So it's saving us money by being able to get it in on on the 15 year versus wait for the 16 and, and the markup in price. And it's also using some of the leftover funds from the, from the year before. So. Understand? Okay. I think you the goal is to get every year to buy three cars because that. Because I was concerned that we had five cars and 14 that came in, and then we'll have three. I don't want to give them too bunched up because they're all going to have to be replaced at the same time. So if we keep a schedule of three a year, we don't have to end up buying four or five in one year. Ideally, but uh, some things that, that you have to keep in mind is like, you know, we had two cars uh, wiped out in, in one crash with a robber that. that come out with no headlights. Oh, and but those insurance and covers those, though. Right, well, insurance, but then we still have, have to replace cool. the cars. And sometimes the insurance, depending on how old that car is, is not enough to pay for the new car. The other thing is, um, during that heavy flood in May, you know, we, yeah. we were parked in an area that the whole car was consumed, you know, with the flood. We saved as much of the equipment just by the officers removing it to keep it from getting water damaged. So, so then not only are you replacing the car, but all of the contents inside that, that you couldn't unfold and grab out of there before the water got too deep. Now is some of that stuff insured, the contents? Some was covered under insurance. And again, you know, it goes back, if the, if the car's three, four years old, then they're giving you that value versus right. today's value. So, but nonetheless, it's a frontline car that needs to be replaced. So ideally, <coughs> ideally, Mr. Coyne, you're right, three to three, uh, absent these unforeseen things. Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Uh, 14241, repeal sections 137104 and 137105 of Part 13 of the Building Code. Mr. Mandel? Yeah. Um, this is basically a, a cleanup effort after the uh, um, enactment of the new, uh, of, the, of the significantly redone building <coughs> code back in July. Um, <coughs> Sign fencing requirements were moved into the planning, planning and zoning code, part 11, and then they were du duplicative in 13 because they had, for a period of time, for a long time, had been in the building code, fencing requirements. So this is basically to repeal all the fencing requirements in the two sections, uh, 137104 and 137105 of the building code because they're now in the zoning, in the planning and zoning code. Questions? Move to approve. Second. All in favor? Aye. All opposed? 14242, Renewal Public Defender Contract for 2015. Mr. Hubert? Every year the public defender requires, suit to their government statutes, that we enter into agreement with them <coughs> ongoing public defender services. This is the same contract as we renewed the last three or four years. Move to approve. Second. With the emergency. Oh, there is an emergency? This letter says emergency clause. Oh, it says no one to request. No one to request. My second includes the emergency clause. So it does include the emergency clause. Well, it's... Mr. Huber, do you want the emergency clause? <laughs> do you need the emergency clause? Let's put it that way. <laughs> Well, we need to have this passed by uh, January 1st or the end of December, so... Yes. The answer is yes. So, yeah. It means that it's Move to approve with the emergency clause. Uh, second, including the emergency clause. All in favor? Aye. Aye. 14243, revocable use permit for 563 Bronson Street. Mr. Huber again. Um, we're reviewing the plans for uh, the new business that's located at the corner of uh, Bronson and uh, Minor Drive, or 
Boundary Street uh, came to our attention that there's a right of way for Medina Street <coughs> that actually, actually extends north of Bronson into uh, the parking lot of that facility. I think this is a condition that's been allowed to exist for many, many years. Um, in order to resolve it, we're proposing a, issuing a revocable use permit for that portion of the right of way. Approved. Second. Any other questions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed. Motion carries. 14244. Donate 2000 Pierce Fire Truck to Medina Career Center. Chief. Thank you, Mr. President. This is the one that was removed from service earlier this year. It had the uh, rust and corrosion issues on the frame, the subframe. Um, there's no real value as a fire truck, obviously, for any department because of the condition. It's not really roadworthy. Um, we've actually checked into maybe trying to scrap it and get some motor, some motor transmission. There's no real value there. Uh, I was approached by the Career Center. Uh, if you recall, back in 2008, we had an old pumper we donated to them also, and it's ran its useful life out there even for as a training prop. Um, they're interested in it. I think it'd be a, a good, good donation to them. We do use their facility quite a bit. Some other um, <coughs> the city and the Career Center. It's kind of white elephant now, and I really don't know what else to do with it, to be honest. And it's beyond the fire training. Um, they're maintenance people that the kids, they get to do the auto mechanic part of it. The body guys do the body work first, so the whole school kind of gets in the act. In fact, they're, because of the size of it, they don't have any bay area to fit it. So they're, if we do donate it, their carpentry department's going to fill a, a special apparatus bay to hold it. So there's a lot of positive that could come out of it. Move to approve. Second. Any other comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. 14245 MCRC 2015 part time pay scale. That's right. This is a change to our pay scale we do every year for the minimum wage increase. Uh, you know, every year it encompasses more and more of the uh, RC job codes. Um, as you can see next year, it'll probably encompass the uh, lifeguard RC code 9. And um, when it does, it's going to have a large effect on us. Especially since most of our part-time staff are lifeguards. So. And what's it going on? I can't. Going eight ten, eight ten Lifeguards are eight Questions? I'm going to stay on this one. I was a part-time employee of the rec center, so I think she's under this. So. Any other questions? Move to approve. Second. I'm sorry. We need the emergency clause because this takes effect January first. Move to approve with the emergency clause. My second includes the emergency clause. All in favor of the emergency clause? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Abstentions? Aye. Um, this next one I don't know if we want to do for discussions. 14246 MCRC new water safety instructor aid position. Because uh, this is the first time we're seeing it, and I think other things have to happen yet. Correct, Mr. Wright? It's on for civil service December 10th with the job description. Just want to run it by this. Um, you know, it's a cost saving measure introduced by our aquatics manager. Um, really, this allows her to keep her training certificate um, for training by training these WSI aids. Um, and she'll start them at a RC 13 code rather than the current WSI RC 15. So, that's your safest money. So, I guess the question is once we, I guess once we get the job description, then we can vote on it. But that it'll be effective like in January. Then. There's no rush on it. All right. Is everybody all right with that? We'll bring it back. Sure. So we'll hold that to the next meeting, next finance meeting, until we get the job description. Or probably the next two finance meetings or something until we get the job description. Yes. I think December 9th. Uh, 14247, 2015 budget ordinance, and 2015 and 19 five year budget. Keith, you want to say something first? There's, there's a hard copy of it with the changes we made from the meeting the other night. There's a hard copy of the, the new complete one in the uh, council chambers. We didn't, we had problems today with the power outage and so on, but it is there now. It's almost there. Well, if, yeah, if you all recall that um, we made some changes, not only uh, taking some reductions in various general fund accounts, as you know, we're having issues at least coming up in the future based upon the cuts that have been made by the state to the local um, uh, funding accounts or various no, different programs, government funds. Government funds uh, to a to an amount that uh, was about a million dollars a year coming out of our revenues. Uh, that would have been going into the general funds that now we have to find other monies to 
keep the services at the same level. So what we did is we made some cuts where we could currently within the general fund, of, I think we ended up with a few hundred thousand dollars that we were able to cut out of the approximately 750 or 800 that we needed for this year. And then we did a reallocation of the income tax, uh, one or two percent from the general purpose capital fund that's going to be now going into the general fund account and a half a percent from the rec center fund <laughs> to go to the general uh, purpose capital uh, account, I mean the general account for, um, uh, to help, you know, increase the revenue set of the account because in future years, even though there is a carry forward balance in that account, it, it gets tighter and tighter as the years go on. So we, the actions we took should help for the next few years, but it's going to, as years go on, unless there's other funding that goes into the general fund account, we are going to have some issues, but currently we do not have any issues for the press out there. Uh, in the general fund account, based upon the changes that we've made, uh, we are still able to function um, for a few more years with respect to, to that account on the changes we made. And I know, Mr. Wright, you weren't here. However, we believe that you still should be in a good position, uh, losing a half percent, which I believe is about fifty thousand dollars a year. If I can just sure, you can, Mr. President. Um, <coughs> I'm pretty sure we can handle a half percent cut. That's not a problem. Yet. Only thing I would request in the future is that we could possibly take it from the following year. Now that the 2015 budget's already been done, and we turn in a, we have a revenue estimate given to us by February, I think it is in March, and have our budget completed for 2015 so early. It would be nice to have that already worked out of the budget. But we didn't anticipate this, and it was kind of an emergency situation to help. Just a request. I understand, uh, but you should be fine in your account. Uh, so. Uh, we take heed to that. We we watch everybody's budget, and we do what we can where we can. And I think we all decided that that you wouldn't be hurt that bad taking the money from your account. So we had to do it. So anybody else have any comments on the, the five-year plan? I mean, we were all looking for additional revenues, of course. We think the economic development efforts from the economic development department are working well. The JED's working well. We're receiving additional funds. We have a lot of exciting projects coming up that hopefully we create additional jobs. For the city to bring more revenue in uh, it's kind of a chicken and an egg as we talked about you need to spend money in certain areas in order to create the jobs to make the money uh, so if we try to eliminate the spending of the money we will never create the jobs and then we would fall into a, a downward spiral and we don't want to do that because i think we're moving forward at a good pace and we want to keep that up and you know we have to do what we have to do with respect to trying to create those jobs in the city i think we're doing what we can well said Anybody else? I motion to approve it. Move to approve. Second. And this is to approve the 2015 budget and also to approve a separate, I think there's two ordinances, the 2016 to 19 uh, budgets. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Anybody else have anything to come in front of council? Meeting adjourned? No, no, no. We have an executive session? No. no. Okay. Okay, being adjourned.